Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to a new video of Arepas for Dinner. For the ones who don't know me, my name is Andrea, and I do videos about my life in the Czech Republic, and especially at the moment, my life as a mom to be in the Czech Republic. And today I'm going to bring you with me to the mall Hodov to show you what's around and what can you find as a new mom or mom to be in the mall. I hope a lot of things. I don't know. I'm going to be driving there. It's raining us crazy. So I guess the mall is going to have quite a lot of people, but it's still during the day. It's morning time. It's like, I think 1 p.m. So I hope it's not going to be over overly crowded, but that's it. Let's start with the video. I'll show you my closet to show you I don't have clothes. I don't have pregnancy clothes. Um, some friends gave me some of their own, so I do have some, but not that much. I'll show you. So here I have two pregnancy jeans. These ones sometimes feel a little bit tight. That's why they're like unwashed because I try not to wash them that often because they feel tighter every time. These ones feel better, but they fall because this is too big and they're too light colored. I don't love how light color they are. And here I have more pregnancy things. Pretty much nothing of this I can use. This is what I can use. So I have this one, you've seen that one before. I'm not gonna wear it, it's too formal. Then a friend of mine gave me this one. It's pretty cool, pretty pretty. This shirt, uh, I don't know what to tell you. It's, I tried to wear it the other day because I really liked it, but to be honest, my boobs are too big at the moment. So yeah, I, I grew boobs as big as <laughs> belly, so it's kind of hard. Um, That one is perfect once the weather is ready for summer. Then you have this one as well, kind of formalish. Then um, this one is not for pregnancy, but it does the thing. This one is probably my favorite one that I got from Shane online. So yeah, um, this one is actually the one that I'm gonna be using in the baby shower. Of course, I'm gonna show you the baby shower. My mom gave me this one for Christmas. This one is just like a black men's shirt that I use as a dress sometimes. This one is also cute, but I recently used it. And these ones are shorts. Yay, pregnancy shorts. I love them. Even though like it looks like a lot of things, I honestly feel constantly that I don't have clothes, especially because the weather has been so bad. Um, my sister just gave me some like summerish pants this type of fabric they're a little bit long and i think i'm gonna wait until the weather is a little bit warmer as well of course i have some pregnancy leggings that i'm wearing at the moment but i don't love going out in leggings if you know if i don't have like a sweater or something longer <sighs> i'm so difficult right let's see what can we wear i know i'm gonna end up wearing the jeans which is is who i am as a person what can i say I probably will need a sweater with this. Um, I have a sweater downstairs that I think I'm gonna wear. I know, it's up here. I know where it is. Oh, I can show you something before um, we're leaving. I've been ironing for the first time in my life. And that's, if, if that's not love, I don't know what Ill, what is. I'll show you. So here, Alicia has taken over. And I already ironed all of that. And these ones, of course, are my favorite ones because I wore all of this. So all of these little things here, they have 30 years. Um, they were my sisters as well, and they will eventually be her daughters uh, in the future one day as well. So I find that super sweet. I iron everything myself because- Somebody to help us with the iron because I don't like it, but with like Alicia things, I have this like, of course maternity instinct, but I cannot explain it. It's, it's like it really excites me to do all those little things like iron her little clothes and wash her little clothes and do all those things. So I'm taking advantage of wanting to do that to actually do it. So I'll take you with me to Hodov and we'll see over there what's available for moms and babies. I hope lots of things because so far I've relied, I guess, as many moms to be and many new moms on Amazon and buying online, which is fine, but it's not like, yay, buying online. It's not the same excitement. And already my mom has bought so many things for baby Alicia in Venezuela, like so many. And um, I want to buy her some things as well, touch them, feel them and buy them. And I'm excited and looking forward to that. So that's what I'm going to do now. And I'll bring you with me as well. I think I didn't do a proper intro, so I'm gonna do it now. So the intro you saw at the beginning, I just did it. First, I stopped here in the post office of my community because I have some package there. 
I'm gonna try to record something inside if you wanna see how a post office looks in the Czech Republic. I'll show you once I have it. So this happens quite often here that I came to the post and they say they don't have it even though the paper has been in my post for several days. So I guess they're gonna try to deliver it again. So I guess that's um, the very date is that I didn't have anything. Since being pregnant in Czech Republic, I have encountered something very odd. That is that nobody regards pregnant people, pregnant, pregnant women as, as priority, kind of like, uh, you know, nobody's gonna give you the seat, nobody holds the door open for you, you enter somewhere where there's a line and you have to do your line, it doesn't matter if you are in like a risk type of pregnancy, if your belly is like bigger than your, you know, than your entire body is like, it's so weird. I've encountered it so many times that it starts to really bother me. Like every time, for example, now I was there inside and I was in my line, uh, I was not in my line. I went somewhere and the lady was like, no, wait. And she closed the thing in front of me and the, there was another lady like taking uh, customers and when I tried to change like a young girl like run so I wouldn't go in front of her I can run I'm like very very big so I was like okay so I went and I sat waiting for the the first lady to like reopen and then this like guy arrived and I was like no no like I couldn't explain him but I was like I am I am waiting it's just that I'm pregnant and the guy looked at me like what the f and he just caught me in and I was like and yesterday when I went to the gynecologist I try I was like I, I opened a door and the guy was like in front of me so he opened the door and he literally threw the door at me like I had to catch it and I was like what the f is wrong with you I told him in English and he looked at me like what's wrong with you back and I'm like don't you see you know I'm pregnant and the guy was just like you know when God gives you lemons your life is sour. No, I'm kidding. Make lemonade. Okay, so many things happen in the way here. Um, there was a deer. I don't know if I'm going to be able to cut the video and put the deer dump, jumping, but the baby deer was on the floor, so I didn't know if he was hurt, so I panicked, so I stopped the car and I went off the car. And the deer jumped and he was fine. But yeah, that happened. That's the, the, those are the perks of living in the outskirts of Prague. That you can encounter some like deers and rabbits and things like that. And I really like that. So I got to the mall. It seems to be pretty full. Which, crazy enough, I find that super cool. I'm like very happy that it's like full. Because I haven't seen people in a very long time. So yeah. Um, I'm going to try to remember where I park because pregnancy brain is not helping me at all at the moment. Okay, so first of all, I encountered this gigantic screen. Um, let's try to find things. So, can we change the language? No. Okay. Of Hodi. And we can see here more or less what it has. Okay, I don't know any of the brands. Um, I wanted to see if we can find anything called like baby something. Okay, it doesn't look like. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just walk around because I have no idea. Um, if I find something baby, I'll show you. And the first baby thing I find is this bambule pretty much in the door. So I'm going to go check it out. Gosh, I'm going to cry. This is the first time I see baby things in person since I'm pregnant. And I'm seven months pregnant. I'm so excited. <laughs> Even the car seats are here. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm going to check around. But yeah, this can be like a very cool place. I'm going to see if I find anything. And if I do, I'll show you what it was. They have a lot of like cool things here. Um... For example, you have these ones that you're supposed to wrap them in and they're not expensive. They're only 349 crowns, which is I think cheaper than I saw it on Amazon, which is cool. Um, I have a lot of this stuff already and what I wanted to find that was the mobile to put on top of the crib. I didn't see it, so, um, but it's, it's a bit overwhelming. I have to be honest, like I haven't been in a store in months and months and months. So I feel a little bit overwhelmed. 
So clothes wise, I didn't like it. Like they didn't have anything very pretty and it was mostly for boys more than for girls. So that was the only thing that it was like easy for me to buy since I'm so overwhelmed, but nice to start to see things in person. But I know Jan feels kind of offended when I buy things without him being here. So I guess I'm not gonna be buying many things. Let's go to the Flying Tiger. They always have interesting things there. Guys, I wanted to sit down and show you, but um, it's forbidden. Like literally, apparently sitting down gives you COVID. So funny. Um, so it's 290 crowns what I paid. And I, I did bought something for baby Alicia. This is for me, shower cap. Because as I said this morning, my hair doesn't get dirty with pregnancy, yay. Then I bought a bunch of like summer napkins because yeah, summer parties. And for Alicia, the cutest little thing, you know, this is the dark theme of her nursery. And here it is, a little elephant. Like everything I'm getting and buying and designing has elephants on it. I don't know why. I find elephants to be like super, super cute and they're very smart animals at the same time. So yeah, I want, you know, the elephant to inspire her. These are the lines for some of, this, of the stores like New Yorker that is a very inexpensive store. This is just crazy. I mean, I'm happy they're open, but this is crazy. Found another baby store, this one, Original Marines. Um, it's a little bit too overpriced for my taste, like that little green dress over there was 750 crowns that's like 35 dollars and honestly i don't know at that age they go through a lot of clothes so i'm not sure but they do have pretty clothes inside i think i saw these before and i think it's extremely expensive but i'm not gonna judge before entering so i'm gonna go inside i don't think i'm gonna record because it's too much but i'll let you know what i think conclusion super expensive and not pretty at all so literally, I didn't like anything. It was, okay, if you understand the style where I'm coming from, I'm coming from this style called like Spanish fashion. I don't know, I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I'm talking about. And it has been quite difficult to find anything like that here. Um, two pair of socks for $7. Like, I'm not, what? I'm not, <laughs> that's insane. Um, but especially because it wasn't like very good. Like, I didn't like it. They say 100% cotton and it's like, well, almost all the baby clothes is 100% cotton. But what if, let's find something else. There was also a store I wanted to visit, but then again, a line. And I'm sorry guys, but being pregnant means you might be able to walk, but you're not able to like stand for long periods of time. Oh, so let's go somewhere else. Came to H&M Dietke, our kids, and I'm gonna see what I can find. So far, everything is pretty, so yay! I knew I was gonna find a place with pretty things after all. I mean, look at that! Okay, as I told you, the store had beautiful things. Not cheap, but not expensive. And I'll show you what I bought. For a total of 400 crowns total, I got um, newborn socks because very important and um, five of them. And I got the cutest dress ever. I'll show you. It's a little bit hard because I cannot see it, but. How cute is that? I'm excited. It's very pretty. It's for newborn as well. I think I bought I bought everything so far for newborn. She won't have clothes when she reaches three months. But it's okay, my parents won't be here, so we won't be doing anything social. <laughs> or we hopefully will be going to Miami, so we are gonna buy more clothes there. So she only needs clothes for before she she's four months or three months. Putting another store for babies, these brooms Milano seems to be one. I'm gonna go in. I think it's a small store, so I won't be recording. I didn't like it. They didn't have mo like much things, so nothing to show there, nothing to say there. Let's see if we can find something else. I came to Zara Kids to see what they have here. 
there wasn't a line so i'm very happy let's see if they have like baby baby clothes i only had a couple of things for babies but i didn't like them and in the in the adult side they really don't have anything for pregnant ladies neither so i guess i'm leaving to this store and i did buy some things i'll show you so this is for the baby shower and i bought a tablecloth plastic one for 120 crowns and i bought these little pins um that they're supposed to be for games so i'm very excited because i didn't know what to use for the game and i think these little pins in pink are perfect so i'm very happy i found that just found this store here, Gap Tits, and it looks like they have a lot of baby stuff. So I'm gonna give it a look and see if I can find anything like a little sweater or something fun. Oh, yes, no. Um, I found one dress that I really liked, it had little squares, very cute. It was $35 in American dollars and it was 1000 crowns, aka $50 in Czech crowns. So no no moving on i'm back in the car and i had to stop in cinnabon because i am me they're warm gosh i'm gonna die i really want to eat one right now i haven't craved like anything unhealthy this entire pregnancy and i don't even think it's a like pregnancy craving it's just every time i see cinnabon when i'm not in us i have to buy one and i got a mango smoothie here that's how you make me happy so i couldn't stay longer because you have nowhere to sit at the moment and that's kind of uncomfortable if you're pregnant my feet are killing me like i cannot do that and um as well i started to get very hungry and you cannot eat so uh, but it's okay i'm just gonna eat probably one cinnamon here cinnamon <laughs> roll here in the car and i'm gonna have these and then i'm gonna head home that under my eyes that's tiredness so tomorrow i have a lot of work like a lot so i think i'm gonna wrap the vlog here because i'm gonna take a nap and then i'm gonna wait for my husband so we can eat the cinnamon rolls together i bought four of course because i'm a fatty and that's great so guys little bonus if you actually didn't like what i um found in Hodov, you can come here to Fido. Fido is kind of outside of Prague. It's in Hostivice. Uh it's literally in front of my house. But you can Uber here or you can go all the way to Slitchin and I think there's a uh, bus that takes you here. This store is huge like huge that's the name of the store and I'll show you a little bit inside not that much I don't want to be like disturbing to people but I'll show you a little bit look oh the strollers they have they have literally all the brands they have all the trains to try the strollers in which is like amazing they also have representatives over there so for the stroller 100% this is the place and they also have a husband they also have car chairs over there a bunch of baby clothes but especially if you're looking for those if you're looking for those like meal extractors or like the baby thermometer or mattresses, they have everything here. Like literally it's worth coming. You can even do your baby registry here. So this is not a paid commercial. I'm just amazed about this store and I think everybody should come check it out, especially if you are expecting a baby or you just had one. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe, especially if you like this new motherhood content, because much more of it is coming your way. So that's it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.